Sometimes the dang things just won't pick. Especially when it's hot outside and you're in a hurry to get done and, and, and then you have that. So I have mentioned a few times in other videos, this is the Yale Cylinder Control for 46AU626 panic bar trim and uh, we are missing a piece on this one this is why i'm doing this uh because uh this is uh you know i think i think it's gonna be a it's either a storeroom or a classroom function which is one of the two it's got to be one of the two and uh there's normally a tailpiece sticking off the back of this but this one was missing it's uh it's not here and as you can see we are not wanting to open up. So I find this a prime opportunity to find out for me and for you if we can take it apart. In some grade two locks, you can take it apart and this cylinder has a tailpiece that's just like this. So this is the, the cylinder, and I, I've talked about, I think I've talked about these before in a different video. Uh, so what the deal is, is uh, this is kind of unique to both Corbin Russell and Yale. They have these long, this same cylinder is used in their grade one lever handles, which is basically a, a whole version of this. This is for the panic bar with the push trim. You can get this GMIT kit dash k o o one dash y a make sure and get the kit because the k o o one dash y a is just the yale cylinder this is the conversion kit which comes with a long wide tail piece this little spacer mechanism to mimic that and then the shroud that goes in there so as i've uh, you know i've taken apart like schlag locks before and you can reach in with a pick and and uh, unscrew the cap however we see this is a clip style cylinder and a roll pin uh, tailpiece 
so we can't get that off we can't like yank it off from the inside like you can some sergeant locks because that is pretty much permanently i say pretty much permanently because it's the same style as here and it's it's missing but there's pretty much no way to get this tailpiece out of the way what i'm hoping for is we can take this apart and once we remove what this goes in because this goes into an area right in this section underneath all this that stabilizes this and uh, won't let you press that unless it's turned of course when you turn the cylinder then you can press that retainer and slide it off you don't have to take the panic bar off the door at all you just access it from outside so what i'm hoping for is once we get this apart if it'll come down to that point and once we remove the stabilizer that this has enough slack in it that we can take the uh, cylinder out so we're going to find out for me and for you so let's let's just let's just do this so we, we do have we do have screws up here uh let's let's just take this off and maybe maybe the whole thing will lift off maybe they made it really serviceable this will also answer our question uh, as to whether or not we can get to the lever return spring in case it breaks. I don't know if they offer that as a part, but maybe they do. Maybe they don't, but m more and more contractors are using the Yale Quick Ship program because they, uh, they're kind of catering to them. So uh, let's first see. Oh, oh, oh. Is it all going to come off as one piece? Wow. Look at that, y'all. You don't even have to take this part apart, which is good, which is good. So now that this is out of the way, let's let's just see. Let's see, does it have enough? It, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Let me go get a poker tool. Poker tool, poker tool. Uh, kind of a sketchy spring, but let's see. Let's see, I think it's going to work pretty well. Y'all, watch this. Watch this. Here we go. Push in. Is it going to give us enough room? Is it going to give us enough room to get it off? They could have They could have been real winners here, y'all. Uh, come on. No. There's not... There's not enough flux, is there? Almost. Oh man, they could have been real. They could have been real MVPs right there, couldn't they have? Okay, let's uh, let's try this. Hold on, let me go get a hammer. Oh, here we go, screwdriver. That'll work as a hammer, right? Okay. Mm -mm. It is not giving us enough flex to get that uh, to get that retainer pushed all the way in. Well, that's a shame, Yale. Y'all could have, y'all could have been real MVPs right there, but you didn't. Let's try a, uh, let's try reaching down in here with a flat head, which would be our next, next point. No, I need a skinnier one. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get this wedged. convince it to to move out of the way nope it is uh 
It is not coming out, y'all. It's so close. So close. Uh, hate to hit it with a bigger hammer. Let's try this one more time. Nope, I don't think it's gonna, y'all. Well, shoot. There's really nowhere we can go from here, right? That's why I'm still trying. Because it's so close. Alright, let me go get something. Okay, let's try a little extra force. Oh, look at that. That fits perfectly right there. And then, uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Maybe? Oh, well, that's gonna be slippy. That's gonna be slippy. Let's get this in a vice. Yo, that's uh, that has to be. Ah, oh, okay, let's put this in the vice. Okay, let's see if this works, y'all. I have a feeling it's so close. There goes my poker. So close to being a part. So we're gonna, we're gonna put as much pressure as we can right there. And Did it? Man, it wants to so bad. It wants to so bad. y'all we got it look at that no damage no damage oh yay we got it off so there you go you can get it can get it apart let's put this uh let's put this back on let me go answer the phone
Okay, let's get this back together. And I do want to mention, let's see, which way did I have this? Was it this way? Uh, if uh, we didn't go over it, let's see. Is it, did that go that way? Or was it this way? I want to say it was this way. Yeah, that, that was probably the way. Uh, it would be a good idea because this area is exposed to the weather. Like exposed, it, you know, it seats on the door, of course. But this would be your biggest corrosion source. I would recommend probably putting Loctite on these. I'm not going to do it for these screws because this one is, uh, this one's not going to be used because we're missing the tailpiece but we did need the cylinder so that we could rekey the cylinder for our customer and he can just swap the cylinder out with another one uh but uh, yeah i would recommend loctite on these screws just to make sure the blue loctite uh and lastly with this 446 440 whatever whatever you want to call this thing uh we have uh we have this kit so this was uh, this was this was another cylinder. Hold on. Okay, this goes out. You can uh, you can uh, and, I, and, I, and if if I did, I can't remember if I ever released the video or not. But you can switch out these. Uh, now, one thing to remember is we pulled that. And I just thought about this. We we pulled that out in the straight position. So you're going to have to reach in into it with a with a tool and turn that tailpiece like we were unlocking it. Oh, look at that cap. The cap's all funky. Because you for sure, let's see that goes like, does that go like that? I think it does. Nope, this, this has to come off first. Get. Get off of there. Come on now. We have, we have done this video before, so I'm not really concentrating on this part. But just to show you, you can switch it out again, in case you didn't see that video. You can switch it out with a cylinder of your choice, LSDA. In case you didn't see that video. can switch it out with a cylinder of your choice, LSDA. This, so if we wanted to use the sergeant, sergeant keyway, we would, uh, we would put this on there just like that. Oh, I know what the problem is. Ah. I know what the problem is. That was tailpiece was on wrong. That was stupid, Jason. Okay, let's try that one more time. So we turn down. Oh, snap. There we go. So now we can use the sergeant keyway for this guy, but, hey, good, anyway, I can't remember where I was at, but that just goes to show, yes, you can, you can make it work with different cylinders, you can take it apart, you just have to do, do that.